nice bounce pass there and an easy layup for Sierra. Touched in it. What do you think of him? Well, my mom taught me if you don't have, well, that's something good right there. If you don't have lead of the contest. Now, I think this is a real important adjustment. That high hedge off the screen translates into offense. About March Madness, we talked about trying to beat the same team twice. UMass Five, not. LaSalle, zero. <laughs> There it is, there Rian, she heard us. Tell you what, Stallworth back into the game, shoots the three, she's playing with two fouls. And playing just out. a little too quiet. If she could step up in this gap, they could, might could separate a little bit, but who needs to like for this half? But fortunately for her, and look at that roll. Look that at that roll, ball. my man. She heard us over here talking. And that's 12 points right now that we're heading to the bench here. Quite possibly is. for Coach Jeff. Quick hands from LaSalle. Alston, two on one. The bounce pass, and Owens does not miss on the lane. We knew it was coming, and those of us who are kind of purists may not necessarily like it as much as. And transition basketball again for UMass. And <laughs> what? You think St. Louis at 53, and that's four of those that have 20 wins right now. Plus, and there's a plus one. Close. Maybe the be. bank's open between seven and eight. Maybe I don't she know. forgot to call it on wow. that one. Close Bottom line. Not going too deep to the bench here in the first game of what could be a long weekend for them. Keys to the game. We said that UMass has got to execute under pressure, and that's the way to do it. Is that a beautiful facility or what? That's a beautiful backdoor pass and one, right? Here's Owens here, splits everybody as UMass too hard off the iron, gets her own rebound, goes back underneath the third time, high off the glass. Oh my, I don't even know with the unselfish play. A little overpassing, not necessary, and it turns into two points for the. He's moving quickly. It's Alston, kicks this one out to Miller, and that one falls. The gas, but the minute women cannot take theirs off of what they're doing here. Now they, time and score are on their. Well, I was saying earlier about the out of bounds underneath. This with the last touch there, yep. UMass gets it. And Mulligan's back in, and Mulligan's back on the score sheet, two points. They are a tough, Tough team to play right now. Great back, and I have nothing doing, and it's Dillard back the other way to McDermott. You and see they it? find Mulligan right underneath the basket. The last stat sheet we got, and there's you, you don't need any kind of stat sheet to read that. That's Gets this one on to Micaiah Owen. She'll yeah. drive and yep. gets the foul. Austin gonna try to go all the way, and she does. Milligan got that. Oh, will play the late game tomorrow night. It's 64 to Rams. And I like that little after the TNT because it stands, it's explosive. And you look at that explosive move right Not there. gives it over to Dillard. McDermott will drive the baseline. She gets the nice floater. Mm -hmm. and she's averaging just over eight and a half a game. And another one at the top. The Friesland who's forced to chase it down. Nice bounce pass inside, though. Chop that Coach Jeff Williams won at that point in the game. But Mulligan? Mm -hmm. set. Griffin will drive. She'll cross up. She'll pull the jumper off the window. Ah. Nice handoff there. Dillard. She's not open. She'll pull back for the jumper and my, make it. My, my, my. Yeah. There you know. And of course in her finest Boston accent. But there's that's a sub. And I like that little accurate. The TNT because it stands, it's explosive. And you look at that explosive.